Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Walt's How To's and Reviews. Today I'm going to be covering this monitor right here. This is a Samsung 49 inch CHG90 gaming computer. And the reason I wanted to make this review is I am not a gamer. I don't play any games on my computer, but I still own this uh, monitor. And when I was going to buy it, I was trying to get some reviews. Is this a good monitor for productivity and business? And it seems like everything out there was really geared towards gaming. So I just wanted to make a review for anyone else that's like me that was out there was that was interested in buying this for productivity and business use. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to jump right into it. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, I would give this a 10. I mean, this is one of my most prized possessions. I really, really, really love this monitor. And the reason I'm so attached to this monitor is, for me, my most precious thing is time right now. And this thing has saved me hours and hours of time. And the reason is it makes me more productive. So I'm able to get a lot more stuff done in a shorter amount of time because of the extra real estate on the screen. So, you know, I'm running just your regular... Um, laptop off of this and I've used a laptop uh, plenty of times in the past with one screen and you know there's a lot of tricks like if you're typing and stuff you got the command tab to toggle back and forth and you know, you're trying to take information Samsung 49 inch and uh, transfer it over and then you got to go back and look and really it doesn't seem like that's a lot of time but as soon as you you know move two things over and you can literally just see it it makes a huge difference at least for me I know there's some people out there that are extremely good with shortcuts and knowing how to use you know the the three finger swipe to go back and forth between different desktops and for them it isn't an issue but you know I would strongly encourage you to try this and then if you still don't like it you've definitely figured it out but as soon as I try it, I can't ever go back to doing it the old way. A lot of times when I am working at my office and I just bring my laptop, there's some tasks that I'm just like, nope, I'm not gonna do it t until I get home just because I know how much better and quicker I can do it with this 49 inch display. So um, that being said, you know, obviously I'm covering the pros right now. Um, biggest pros are that it makes me a lot more productive. I can show you like a lot of times I'm using spreadsheets um, for my business and whatnot and just having to like zoom over and find things can be a pain in the butt where like on this guy I can just get the whole thing in one frame you know I still and some have to go up and down but it just saves so it's just so much easier for me to read and I'm a very visual person um, another like little caveat is I'm a terrible speller so when I'm trying to you know take information from here and bring it over to something I'm typing into here you know toggling back and forth as dumb as it seems like, you know, this calibration word, I'm going to struggle spelling it and I'm going to have to like toggle back and forth to spell one word versus now I can just literally just stare at the word and write it out because it's right there. And that just for me, that's a huge, huge thing. When it comes to gaming, I know it's like 144 hertz. I think that's good for gaming, but I don't know anything about that and whether or not it's a good gaming computer. I recently started making YouTube videos and, you know, I've got real low production here. I'm using iMovie. And I have no idea if this is a good monitor for like color output and all that kind of stuff. All I know is when it comes to editing videos, all the extra real estate space makes it really easy. You know, you can have your notes over here. You can just be able to see your whole timeline so much easier. Um, that makes, you know, for me at least, a huge difference. And I love editing video on here. I do also like the curvedness of the screen. You know, when I'm sitting about this far away, typing, doing my thing, it just is a nice way to like pan back and forth. I really like it. And for me, it works really well. That would be all of the pros that I can think of. Obviously, basically I'm just saying, if you're interested in buying this for something like business or productivity and the at-home desk, if you're the guy who likes multiple screens, two or three, I would highly recommend this. Not having the bezels there, having that curved shape, I personally truly love. So let's go over some of the possible cons. Um, one is, you know, this is a bright display. It's taking up a lot of your view. You know, that might affect you if you um, if you uh, get headaches really commonly. You know, it's nice that you can like adjust it. You can move it. It's pretty easy to move around and just have it right where you want it. And Again, if you get uh, prone to headaches with visual stuff, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this gives you a headache. Luckily, I am not that kind of person that gets that kind of stuff. So I'm on this sometimes, you know, 10 hours a day and I do fine with it, but I'm not saying that's right for everyone. Every once in a while, I do notice my eyes get a little like tired and whatnot. A nice mode that they do have that I tend to not use because again, it's not an issue for me, but sometimes if I'm up late at night and it's dark 
and my eyes start to get a little bit of pain, there's this eye saver mode that you can turn on and it just dims the screen and I think it takes away a lot of that blue light. I'm not really sure what it does, but it definitely is less harsh on the eyes. It's a lot easier to look at. Um, but because I just love the screen, I, I just blast it on all the time because I think it's awesome. And that's just me. So that could be one of the cons is, you know, you're staring at this a long time. It could start to bother you um, in terms of just looking at so much lit up screen, pounding your eyes um, all day and all night. Um, another con is, you know, it is 1080p, it's not 4K or anything. They may have came out with a new one since I bought it back in July 25th, 2018. So I've been using this for a year. They might have come out with a new one. When I bought it, it was uh, closer to a thousand. I think it was like 950. So it's a little bit more cost effective now. But yeah, it's, it's 1080p. So the pixels are kind of stretched out and you know it's not really much more pixels so i mean if you're if you're very anal you can, and you look up close like i can see the pixels and maybe you know the font and the typing isn't super clarity clear and if that's something you're into you might not like this about the the monitor for me it's not a big deal at all especially from like this distance i can't tell the difference between my nice laptop screen this or you know my super nice tv downstairs for me at least but i'm not that kind of person where those things are super important to me. I just bring that up because I did notice in some other reviews people did bring that up and that is, you know, a possible con. Um, the only other con that I think is more of my computer than anything else, but it is something to consider when you go to buy something like this. You know, I'm running um, a 2012 computer or laptop here. So what's nice is even if it's older, it still tends to work. Um, hopefully if you have a laptop that's within the last five years, it'll be able to run this. But I do also have a 2011 uh, MacBook Pro that has the i5 chip and only four or eight gigs of RAM. And that one, after about 30 seconds, it, it, it clicks off. And I'm not sure if it's because it's struggling to run the monitor or what's going on, but it just won't work with this guy. I can get it to work for a little bit and then it clinks off. If I um, adjust the, the frame, um, the aspect ratio, and it's just a smaller screen, it works fine. But to go the full ultra wide, it doesn't seem to run it. And I believe it's because of the computer and the chip and the RAM and all that stuff. It won't process it quick enough. The graphics card, I guess, maybe can't keep up. So I would definitely do a little bit of research um, before you buy it to make sure the computer you're running is going to be able to take advantage of the full real estate of the screen. And then definitely buy it on a place where you can return it like Amazon or something so that if it can't, you can return it. The other con with this, and again, I think this is something with my computer, is when I plug in and unplug the display port you know I'd say it's about a 30% chance it won't work so a lot of times you know I'll unplug this from my computer I take my computer on the go go somewhere come back to my, um, here plug it back in and we'll see if it works or not 70% of the time it works so I'm guessing it's going to fingers crossed Oh, and this is one of the times it doesn't work. So this does happen, and um, it is kind of a pain in the butt. The easy fix is I just um, restart my computer, and then it works fine. Um, I have noticed every once in a while, too, so I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer, that uh, sometimes the picture quality, I notice it like if I'm watching a YouTube video or something, the colors are like washed out, and that's a very, very less common thing. I mean, it's maybe happened 10 times. But I noticed like that and it's after like, you know, three, four days of using it and you'll just see like the colors are all weird. Again, I just restart my computer and it goes back to normal. So again, I think that's something with my computer, but that is something to be mentioned a little bit of a con. You know, I have to restart my computer sometimes to make it work and sometimes the color goes out of whack and I have to restart my computer to make it work. But other than that, I love it. It's an awesome buy. I would buy it over and over again. I was very, very hesitant to buy it. It took me a few weeks to decide and I was kind of worried that I wouldn't like it. But after I got it, I just, I love it. Um, and again, for me, if you're the kind of person who's in my shoes looking to buy it for productivity, if you're the kind of guy that likes multiple screens, likes to have open windows so you can take information from one thing to another, I highly recommend it. I love it because it has saved me so much time. You know, it's in terms of, you know, if I'm worth, you know, X amount an hour, this thing has paid for itself over and over again by saving me those hours that I would have just taken more time to get the tasks done that I need to get done on my laptop or computer. Even with two screens, it's much more efficient. I would say it's the equivalent of having three screens with no bezels. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helped out for those of you who are considering buying this machine. I will see you next time.